Legend Total War here, and today we're saving another disaster campaign. Back into Warhammer 2, I seem to be getting more Warhammer 2 disasters lately, and we're playing as Clan Moors on very hard difficulty, and this is the Eye of the Vortex campaign. So, the context on this particular campaign is that he's 58 turns into it, he is basically on a massive decline. So he, it's not like a case of failure to launch, he launched, and he's fallen back to his last settlement. So, just want to show this real quick. That's the initial starting territory, where he gained some territory, got to his peak there at turn 31, and then collapsed. Okay, and so basically he's like, oh my god, I'm about to lose the campaign. Who are you going to call? The uh, tank busters. I mean legend busters, whatever. Um, gracious, come away. So his main concern is dealing with the high elves. And obviously his army is not good enough to be able to beat it, but you've got the garrison here as well. Unless they've got another army hanging back over here, we should be okay. So I want you to stand in front of the army here, uh, the city. We've got a good amount of money, I had a look at how he's been leveled up, and this is not bad. Like, he's, the, 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 bad, the only thing here is not leveled up enough, that's all. Um, reducing upkeep costs is definitely good, because we're going to need that money. So, we need some troops. So I'm glad to see he's got some artillery. That will certainly come in handy. Now they may attack us over the end turn. Hard to say. Okay. Just trying to think. Now normally I do like to go with, with Halberds because late game you do end up going up against more large, like just lots and lots of large units. And the Halberds, they are quite good. Whereas the Storm Vermin Swords and Shields are really good against early game troops. Um, also, the Halberds are cheaper. So, I usually just go go one or the other. I mean, you could mix it up, but I'm going to go with four Halberds here. He's got a decent amount of money in the treasury. But we're going to be here for two turns now. Now, in terms of construction, what does this do? I mean, I've played... Oh, it actually generates food now. Huh. It's been a while since I've played as the Filthy Rats. As many of you guys know, Skaven is probably one of my least favorite factions in this. Um, but yeah, I didn't realize they actually made put ways in to get more food uh, through, through the, the buildings here. Okay. Alright, well, that's really the only thing we can go for, I suppose. And, uh, yeah, let's do this. I mean, there's... What, what else have we got? Doom Engineer. Don't really want to do that. Okay, hey, what about heroes? Don't don't um, discount the heroes. Let's have a look at what you got. What your back tail? You're already fielding one. Is he wounded or something? Right. All right. Well, there's not much else we can do. Let's move on. Now he's also at war with a lot of other people. So while we're dealing with this, the fucking lizardmen might come down here. So it's probably a lot worse than what it actually looks like. Because we're not just going up against one. If it was just one faction, I would have been like, nah, you're fine, you got this, dude. Just hold up in your settlement, you'll beat him. But no, he's got... Everyone around him hates his guts. Alright, so they do have a larger army than I had originally thought. Oh dear, that is not good. Um, would we win this battle? That's the big question. Would we win it? I am going to fight this battle, but I'm going to click not control large army. Because we're going to have our best units available at the start. And that'll prevent most of these guys from showing up. That way they're just bringing in fucking crappy spearmen. And we can control the pace of the battle a little bit more. Rather than have it being controlled on us. Now, it's also very important to note that we don't have to win this battle. We don't have to win it. We can withdraw if things look a bit too shit. It's not a big deal. Alright, I want to group this up. Like this. I don't mean actually grouping. 
And we'll have reinforcements come in before they get to us. Got a good high ground position right here. Especially good for these guys here that don't arc their shots too well. Alright, let's do this. Yeah, so we're not on Legendary. I'm telling you what, I am. I very rarely see the Bouncer Power Bar in this game. I'm always playing on Legendary. Ugh. Now their best units are going to come in on the first wave, which is to say the Sisters of Avalorn. They absolutely must be targeted for, for Annihilation. And up front, we need to make sure our fucking worst units are there to stand. Might be better if the garrison units are there. Maybe. I think we'll have time before they get here. They're probably going to wait for their reinforcements before attacking. We are not we are not to move off this position. But actually, we can stand back a little bit. We don't want to stay on the top of the hill. We just want to stay where the slope is going to be of most use to us. Ooh, that could be useful. But I need to see where they are. We get a rough idea that they're here, right? If we pop a unit over there, they're just going to break immediately. We need them to be able to take damage. So let's just wait. Alright. Now let's organize these guys into... Shielded and non-shielded. Okay, so shielded... And then non-shielded. Shielded is up front. Non-shielded in reserve. What kind of magic you got there? Okay. Okay, so we can see here that even with us controlling the, the flow of battle, we still don't have the advantage. Now we just need to wait for them to come. And right off the bat, a tough battle against high elves as well. Now there are there are more artillery waiting in reserve, but I couldn't justify bringing it in. Due to the, the number of enemy troops that, we're, that they're going to bring in, and the low quality of trash that's that's coming, you know, it's mostly just more fucking clan rats. All right. So with this, what I want to be doing is popping this unit in the middle of their troops. I expect them to break pretty much immediately, but not to be able to get out of their their position. Now we really want to be targeting the Sisters of Avalorn. Yeah. Okay, now whichever way he d decides to retreat, he can't get away immediately. We need to make sure he's, he actually reduces his health to 50%. Stay on it. Stay on it, you filthy rats. Stay on it. Come on, come on, come on, where is it? Where is it? Yep. Oh. They're almost at 50% health. Yeah, a bit of damage, nothing too major. Alright, what do we got over here? Swords Masters of Hoeth. Ooh, they are powerful. Yeah, you really want to be taking those motherfuckers down. I wouldn't worry at all about that eagle. So another one to slow him down. We're not going to get another another thing down, but that's okay. You're just, just trying to slow him down so we can get as much use out of the artillery as possible. Get that. 
Get one down. Right. You shoot into there. What are you shooting at? Keep that fucker busy. Where's my other rat? Is it already get dead? Yeah, it's already gone. That was a pretty nice hit on a really powerful unit. Bouncer power is even, but okay. Get quick out of there. All right, these guys start wrapping around over here now. No, 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 no! Don't move! Don't move! I should put them on guard mode. Get one more of these, make it count. Do I have reinforcements yet? Not yet. Yeah. The thing is with Skaven, you have to be willing to sacrifice units. Don't get too attached to your garbage. Okay, at the moment we're winning. At the moment. You have to keep in mind though that we got shitty reserves. Oi. Okay, last one of those, that's okay. So they've done pretty well. Okay, don't waste shots. We've still got more enemies coming. Get around over here. See, if I send him over here to fight, I know he's not going to win. No reinforcements yet. Okay, I need some guys back over here. So once they're out of ammo, get them off the battlefield. Okay, we got some, what are these, Globideers? Poison Wing Globideers, alright. Bring him in. 
Balance of power is going down a little bit. Like I said, I don't necessarily expect to win. We don't have to win. We just need to do shitloads of damage to them. That prince is fucked. Take him out. You out of ammo? Alright, off you go. Get off the battlefield. Okay, someone just died. Alright, you get in there quick. Just, I hope you do win, but I, I'm not really that confident with you. Good. One of their guys dead. And you're out of ammo. Get off the battlefield. What's this over here? It's just okay, small sword. Nice one, both. Hey, it looks like you might actually win. Bounce of power's in our favor again. We got more guys coming in. Let's that kill it quick. If we're gonna lose this battle, let's just make sure we take as many of them down with us as possible. We might even win. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? It's not over till the fat lady sings. I couldn't come up with a better. So, yeah. Don't waste ammunition on that. Yeah, make sure that that unit's wiped out. If we are going to lose this, try and take out as many of them as possible. You get over here. Okay, we don't have much magic left. Let's take heads. Now ready. Don't let them get away. Our rats should be faster than them, especially with damaged rats. Nasty bitches over here. Take him, take her out. Damn, that did a lot of damage. Okay, we don't need everyone on that. Skaven Slave Slingers, so we've got the cream of the crop over here. <laughs> Not a pile of garbage. Hang on, these guys aren't out yet. Good job. Yeah, these ones always do a good job. Okay, that's thinned out enough. Start working on this. You get over here, get into a skirmish with them. Okay, bounce of power's out of our favor again. Okay, we got some more artillery. Don't expect them to do a whole lot. Okay, you're out. Go. Okay, you're out. Back over here. Back 
Okay, we're here. Alright, it's gonna be tough to win this next bout. I don't think we will, but we'll give them a good fight, if nothing else. No, don't don't actually shoot that. I'm gonna be aiming for the infantry. It'll do more damage to them. All these guys need to do here is hold as long as possible. Yeah, a lot of cavalry coming here now. Don't forget, they still have to assault the settlement afterwards. And they may besiege it for quite a few turns, giving us time to recruit some rats, or at the very least replenish what rats we do have left. Alright, Queek, I want you to get over here, get ready to retreat. It doesn't look like we're going to win this. It doesn't look like it, but it doesn't mean we won't. It's, it just doesn't look like it. Okay, we're almost out of magic. I mean, we're out of reserves, but we've got bits and pieces left. Yeah, we are. We're, we're losing balance of power now. Like I said, sometimes you don't have to win the battle to win the war. We've done a tremendous amount of damage to them, and we pulled out units that were vital to our success in future battles. Alright, time to leave. Let's try and get a few more kills left with this guy. Alright, where are we going to put him? Can't shoot my own area there. Try there. There we go. I mean, lost penalty. We lost the battle, but... Let's have a look at what we actually managed to achieve. Their army's beaten to shit. Okay, we got to keep all of our artillery. So, Valiant Defeat. Okay. And we withdraw behind the city so they won't be able to catch us, I hope. And they didn't they didn't besiege the settlement. They know how to win a battle, but they don't know how to use it. So they've merged their forces. What have we lost? We lost some clan rats and the damage they done, done there it didn't matter. But, we didn't recruit anything. That's a problem. So he suffered a defeat, but he gained a level. Um. Yes, I would very much like it if you can recruit Storm Vermin faster. Unlikely. Okay, this time I want you to stay behind the city, not in front of it, because... Let's check this. 
I mean, we've replenished and they haven't. They, they would have gotten a little bit of replenishment, just a little bit. I don't think they'll attack us again, but still, I'd rather I'd rather not fight them again this turn. Let's just get let's get some get some of this. Alright, what do we research? Yeah, public order is going to be useful. This is only on very hard, so you only have minus four to deal with. Pfft, minus four. Okay. Let's move on. Now, what they could do is besiege the settlement and then also push back and attack me. I'm hoping they don't do that, but that is something they could do. We really need to deal with this soon because the last defenders is... They'll be coming. I said that this could happen. The other option was to stay inside the settlement. We can't possibly win this battle. But I can surely take down a lot of them and we'll withdraw before they get to us. So we'll corner camp. I was aware they could do this. I mean, I mentioned that they could. It's a risk that you take sometimes. Okay, so we can use these rats to try to slow their approach down. But yeah, we want to be able to leave at the drop of a hat. Ah, shit. You don't want to be in front of the trees either. Or have the trees be in front of you. So the plan here, just do as much damage to them as we can. Because they may pursue us in the next battle. Hopefully we don't lose any of these, but luckily they can be replaced. Alright. Try go for in the middle here. And hopefully when they route, they pursue them with the cavalry so that we can blow them up. Because the cavalry is going to be sort of the hardest to deal with. Get to 50%. So right now would be the perfect time to just do so much damage to them. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That felt good. Bounce of power is even, but the problem is, like, what are they going to do when they get here? This one's just to slow them down. Uh, maybe... Because we want to make, make, make use of these. It doesn't cost us anything. But it's all a matter of when. Of course, we want to be using up as much of this ammo as possible. We want we want both artillery groups shooting. So start putting him in there. And if you can hold that for 17 seconds, we'll we'll bomb. You just might. But now they're rushing at us. I need you. Not where I wanted it, but it's not bad. Take out those things, because we don't want them close to us just yet. No, 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 not you. Not you. Bounce of power is even. They may not pursue us. Come on, take that fucking bird down. Run 
Alright, that's us done. Get out of here. Time to go. No, no, just drop that. Just drop it. Just go. Oh, you beautiful cowards. That's kind of what we wanted. No units were lost. Next time. And once again, they're un unable to take the city. So, lose the battle, but win the war. Okay, now I'm confident that the garrison here is strong enough to be able to repel them. They've had two turns now to recover. So what I need to do, and he just needs to recover now. I can't pull troops right out of the garrison. Now I need more soldiers. And from the global recruitment, there's nothing here that's going to be one turn. And I'd rather not hire the garbage. See, if we had these guys here, they would have easily been able to hold the line against the cavalry. Not a problem. That's not what we got. Okay, moving on. Okay, we got our wizard thing here. Warlock engineer. That's cool. They're in force march. We can't catch her. But the funny thing is now we can actually beat her in battle. What kind of battle is this? A for dwarf gouger. Uh, not important right now. We've got to get over here. That other army will be trying to recover. These are tier 2 settlements. We don't want it to get to tier 3. If I get over here, like, I'm pretty confident that the defenses here would be able to repel that without, without any trouble. But if I come over here and start recruiting and they besiege this, I won't be able to recruit. So it's a little bit of a risk. So I'll go halfway. I'll go to here. Mm, here. There. Oh, why are you in a f fuck? God damn it. His presence is not going to make that easy. Alright, come back over here. We're going to have to get ready to defend. Okay, now I want some more heavy hitters. At this stage here, I do feel like the played claw, claw catapults are going to be more useful. I'll get one of each. Yes. That way we'll have... Oh, wait, they take two turns to recruit. We're too unstable at the moment. We, we don't know if we're going to be having to withdraw, so we'll just go with that. Alright, move, uh, move on. If we could get a peace treaty with, with them, that would be great. With uh, Last Defenders. I want to keep fighting them, obviously. But that's, it's never going to happen. I don't know where the last defenders went. Let's 
don't worry about the rituals. I mean, honestly, when they even even when they get to there, it doesn't matter. Okay, they seem to have. Well, I just don't know where they are. We want to be able to retake this. I don't know where their forces went. Maybe they went down here to lick their wounds. So he'll be getting some recovery, but not much. The defenses here will hold now, and if he attacks us, this stands no chance. All right. So once again. I just want two. No, I want four. Because the upkeep on them is not too bad for him, I believe. Is that correct? Reduced upkeep for Storm Vermin. Yeah. Alright, let's move on. Alright, that's good. Rat Ogres, loyalty for new recruits, I guess that's alright, there's... Wait, that doesn't connect to anything. Why can't we get this? I don't get it. Oh, right, I see, because you, you need to have this. I see. Well, I guess we got that then. <laughs> no one beats better squeak. Right. Get this back. Mighty warrior champion. If we order resolve this, we run the risk of losing these guys. If we fight it manually, they won't do much damage to us at all. Doesn't really matter where we set up, that'll do. And leveling up Queek and the hero is gonna make a big difference, so that that needs to be made a priority. Damn that artillery's good. It's the best thing that they have. so good, it just bogs them down and gives you the ability to just pummel them in the meantime. See if we can do this without taking a single casualty. They want to come back. Oh, cool. We didn't take there's a single casualty. Sack it first, that way we get a bunch of money, because 
We loot and occupy anyway. Send minions. Find treasure warp stone. Main thing I'm looking for there is um that lizard man army. I don't see it. Fight me. Fight quick. I want to send it straight to three so that I can build defenses here. All right, we got a lot of lot of intel in the area. Wherever the lizardmen went, they're not there now. Is this ruined or damaged? Yeah, it's ruined. Okay, that needs to be repaired. Then we got to build the tunnel, and we got to build that. That makes money, right? Yeah, most most Skaven buildings build uh, make money. There's going to be a rebellion. It's alright, we can deal with it. Let's get, for, get that for future reference. Okay, we've also got plenty of... ...of growth. Let's grab that. We've got to lock down these settlements nice and tight. I've already spent all of his money. I've only got a little bit of cash left in terms of upkeep, so... I can't really justify that right now. Uh, we're definitely going to need to reduce upkeep further. So, I'll... Let me just see here. See, recruitment duration for Storm Vermin units, all provinces. That is really good, but we don't have to do that right now. What else is there? Life is very cheap. Casualty replenishment rates. Upkeep for Clan Rat. Um, yeah, you don't really need that. Because, like, Clan Rats, you know, who cares? Ah, oh, you don't really need that. You don't really need that either. Okay, yeah, reduce the upkeep costs. Make us a lot of cash. Patchy fur, not trusted yet. Yeah, increasing mobility, that's going to be important. When we get that at rank 4, that is going to be pretty useful. I don't think we've got enough money to... Yeah, we don't have enough money to get any clan... Uh, to get anything, really. I wanted to get more of them. We don't have to repair that right now, but we want to increase our income. Alright, moving on. Now, here's the thing. That rebellion has to wait. We have to go and conquer the other settlement down there. So what if that guy comes over here and recaptures this? It'll take some time before this is strong enough to, to, to take that settlement. And hopefully we'll be back there in time. I mean, I'd love the extra gold from here. I'd probably have to fight a battle, though. Keep yeah, I thought they might be there. Away. We can beat that, but, like, me, me. only if we attack it, like, next turn. It, it actually depends on what they recruit. they got 12 units there, and five, uh, 6 units there, so we'll have 18 Unwise. troops, but... I can't justify it. We're going to have to go back this way and deal with this first. They, hopefully they're going to keep recruiting for a little while. At least enough time for us to to build this up. I don't know. I could justify force marching back. They're, they're not going to catch us. Run for more. And even with Force March, I really doubt they'd be able to reach this far. So we'll go deal with these two over here. And it'd be good if we had enough money to build the next thing next turn. Because we really want to make sure it's got walls.
ardent follower. Three turns, huh? More headscans. Never. Looks like he's actually well, she's actually recruiting. That's okay. Challenge me, me. Yes, yes. Alright, let's see, we got this. Melee defense or speed. Pile of crap. Give it to them because they don't really need melee defense. Mm, actually, no, that's that's such a shit die. thing. Yeah, I'm not giving that to anyone. We don't really have a, a good army for ambushing. Uh, it's all, it's alright, but... I'll make use of my artillery. I'm not a big fan of ambushes, personally. Get these guys to close... Close that gap. The thing is, on very high difficulty, you got well in terms of the battles at least. Melee troops get a big debuff, but well, it's not really a debuff. It's just that their troops get a big buff, but not so much on the missile, you know, try, uh, side of things. That's why I try to rely heavily on the artillery. I need you to take out that plague claw catapult. He's already got warp lightning. I don't get it. He couldn't use it in the. Or maybe I don't know. Okay, you get back. We want to try and keep the casualties spread out. We don't want one unit taking all the damage. Red Ogres aren't going to do much against these guys. Actually, not you. you. You're gonna have a hard time hitting it. You just stand over here or something. Doesn't look like we're gonna have too much trouble with this. We're, we're about to win. Save 
motherfucking trees, bitch. So hopefully that's a solid decisive victory for him, so that he can get more experience. I think I'll take the, sl uh, the food. Oh, can we give us enough movement to finish him off? Yes, we've got just enough money, to, uh, money uh, movement to get there. Also, if I click this, it might give him... Oh no, that's the next one. Right, he gets Warp Lightning, but he just can't upgrade it until he's rank 4. That's fine. Okay, now I gotta get over here, try to defeat them. Here's the big problem, if I attack it and it goes over here... I need to protect this for three turns. So I gotta get back over here now. Good, he leveled up, so this will give us more movement next time. And reduced upkeep cost. Good, so we're actually, we're actually making as much money as we did at the beginning, despite having a much bigger army. But it's being a lot cheaper now. Right, let's move on. I gotta get back to Dawn's Light and just sit there, I think. Did the warlock, warlock? Need more trophies, yes, yes. Can't do anything about that. No. So yeah, they're they're building up. They were at eleven last time I saw. If we're going to attack them, we should attack them in that direction. But I'm still concerned that they're going to send something over there. More head scouts. All right, I want you to stand here. Yeah, says quick. And for two turns, you'll be recruiting this and quick. one more of that, which means the the hero is not going to be able to attach to the army. But I got to get this to be a full now, stack. Now. He's going to be gone for how long? Four turns. I don't have time to wait for that. Clan rats are not content. Yeah, don't worry about the vortex ritual. Not important. Don't don't worry about that until you're really secure. Which we are not. After we've taken this and killed both of those armies, we should really try to get a peace treaty with these guys. So they're not too happy with each other either. Shit. 
He blocked me. I don't know if I'll be able to get here in time. We just need one more turn. Alright. Gotta cancel this, unfortunately. Oh, you fucking prick. Enemy agent shit. There's no defense against it. Absurd. We just have to hope he doesn't get there. Quick. I just need some recruits. Once we've got walls there, they can't just instant attack it. And walled settlements are a lot easier to defend. Come on, come on, come on. Don't attack the settlements. Good! They actually withdrawing. Cool. So they've ranked that up to level 3, but we don't know what they've got. Pretty confident I can take on an... Uh, we really do need more artillery. I could raise another army, but it's gonna it's going to be very expensive. Because of the extra 15% upkeep costs. We could come back over here and win this. Gives us something to do. We have no idea what's here now. Unlikely. Let's have a look in diplomacy. I serve the king. So, they're actually allied to the last defenders. Why would they try to... Alliances don't start mean shit in this. Speak your poisoned words and leave. We need to get out of this war. Let's offer a small payment. They won't do it. Okay, fine, whatever. So these are the three people we're worth. I might offer them a little bit more. It'll make it easier to, to get other peace treaties if we're out of this war. I won't offer any more. No. See, if they've got a full stack there, I'm still not really that confident with this army. But sometimes you just have to go for it. Yeah, it's still there, but they haven't they haven't recruited much. Alright, I am gonna hire another general. Alright, you got a warlord here that's disciplined. That'll be your best choice. Yeah, I knew it was gonna cost a lot. Three two five upkeep. Quick will come for you. It's cheaper to actually get these. But if I recruit both of these, I will I will be out of money. Because then I'll be hemorrhaging cash. I can hire two of them, but I want to get four, but I, I I just can't afford that. I must decline. If I upgraded this, it'd give me an extra 150, it's not enough. Just give me some garbage then. All tales are mine. I'll see what I can do with that. Public order's good. Let's move on.
Oh, come on. This guy. Will rise, rise. I can get him over here, though. Certainly not. They've recruited another two units, and they've they've got a lot of heroes here. Could we win? That's the question. I don't know. I don't know. Most masterful of masters. Luckily, these here are super cheap. <laughs> I am mighty. Yeah, that is the what thing. I just don't know if I can win that. I don't think I can. Alright, here's what we do instead. It's not what I want to do, but... I, I, it's too risky to do that. We don't, we don't desperately need that right now. I'm going to go over here and win this battle. And while that's going on, he's going to keep we recruiting some more slaves. Hang of slaves. Because it's just trash. That's all it is. It's just trash that we can use to waste. Pfft, I don't know. Waste their time. Distance to cover. Actually, you do. Quick. Just, just, do this, just teleport there. It only costs five hundred. And then I'll force March back here for, for heals afterwards. Or maybe I will just recruit whatever. We'll see. So we'll get Dwarf Gouger. Which is... It's alright. It's not great. But bonus experience. So have a look in here. I think I can manage. I think I can. Uh, who dares challenge me? Me? No, that's not going to be that helpful Gamma in this is ready. Quickly, turn around. They're going to come from our rear as well. Don't worry about that right now. Artillery doesn't really get a, a great amount of use in this one. Chance to use it on that one. Okay, that's enough of that. Shoot over there. Don't forget they will come from pretty much all sides. If we get over here, you need to fight that lord. Oh, so good, I think. That's, that's too dangerous. Oh, 
don't know what the hell they're doing, but I don't mind. We gotta make sure we get rid of those flamers. When you can time a good one of those, that's really good. I fucking wrecked him. that one busy. There's no, no good shots we can take on anyone. I don't think they're sending in any more reinforcements, so this is a GG now, I think. Casualties seem pretty well spread out as well. Good to see. food. Now we'll reach max food soon anyway. I'll take the replenishment. Alright, so that makes Queek just a bit stronger. Can't stay there any longer though, he's got to move back. Now, 
we could maybe work towards... Let's have a look here. Something that might make his... His Storm Vermin stronger. So that their me uh, melee attack for Storm Vermin... Yeah, that would be good. We don't re You don't really need to make him... A good fighter, in my opinion. I mean, you can, but... So you don't need to. Alright, so he doesn't need to recruit any more units. Just go back to here, that way we'll get lots of replenishment. Alright, so we got extra buildings here. Let's see, what can we get? I don't think you need that. Do you have any trade agreements at all? Just don't know why I expect it. So now we have to kind of wait for him to make an attack over here so that we can draw out, use to utilize the garrison and our force here. We might have to wait a while before he's actually recruited to max. Alright, so what are we going to put here? I mean, go up here for Doom Wheel. We don't have a lot, a lot of money. I'm just sort of planning things out. Getting uh, other heroes would be good. Alright. Don't worry about it. Let's just move on. Fuck. This could actually be a, quite a blessing there. If we can reach him. Nah, I'll take the money. So that would be for this guy here. Bah. Well, I did just get money, so easy come, easy go, I suppose. My plans game. Keep great scum away. Hmm. All right, so we've got a the problem. Is we're not fully replenished. You could come in and help as well. I mean, I know there's a Lizardman army nearby, but still, we got to get rid of this one here. No, we're not, I know we're not at full strength, but neither are they. I actually would prefer not to have an ambush, but whatever. Odds are in our favor. Let's do it. No reason not to control large army. Assembly. Practical joke. It's a big, big dick. Alright. I guess the good thing about an ambush is that I can set up at any, any edge of the map. Specifically where my reinforcements are going to show up from. Uh, they're not overly important in the battle. Basically, I just want to use them as a meat shield. Only let these guys take a, a minimum amount of damage before pulling them out. Alright, let's do this. That's a good spot. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of using ambushes. Especially not on very hard or legendary difficulty. I just... Yeah, it's just not my thing. So, can I have some reinforcements, please? Or is it the fact that they don't come in until... We make our first shot. Because we're all hidden at the moment. Ah, that's interesting. I actually, I actually really like that. He 
You don't have to attack them immediately. Maybe I should have held off my fire. So yeah, Skaven slave slingers, throw away troops. Get them over there, just to, just to whatever. They're fucking shooting their own men. Fine by me. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my god. Oh, I jizzed. <laughs> god damn, they did so much damage to them. What an idiot. Get up front here. Like I said, they throw away troops and I care about them. The limit of my unit there is still gone. Yeah, it's gone. So the next one, I won't use it for this. Just I'll try and get rid of the um, Eagle Claw catapult. Too hard to hit. Oh, I see it shattered. Right. Right. Those of them that are damaged start falling back. I'm actually using them as suicide bombs. Get, get one of those things over here, because they're actually good against these eagles. Oh shit, get in there and fight. It's a good thing on Force March, we only need to win, they get all wiped out. It would also be good to take out all these heroes before they get to level 20. This is a big win for us here. This is the guy that we bombed, keep him out of it so that he doesn't have to get recruited from scratch. And that in future we can just use him again to bomb, provided we're in our own territory of course. Get the artillery to stop now. We've killed every unit that matters. Yes, 
Quick, quick. Hey Shadow, don't worry about it, get over here. Take out these heroes. There we go, we've won. No need to run them down. would be good, but we really need to push an attack. So I'll take the replenishment. Kill slave things, yes, yes. Now I'm Yeah, they're there. I was gonna say I think they're in ambush stance, but they're actually not. Challenge me. Okay, if they go and besiege Dawn's life, they won't be able to attack it. They won't be able to attack us. I don't think he's yeah, he doesn't he wouldn't have had um lightning strike. I don't think I need to get you to recruit anything else. Stay there with our bag of uh, bombs, essentially. Alright, let's just level them up. Don't worry about building anything. Save up our money for the next province. Okay, so yeah, respected and feared. I actually need two points to get, to get some melee attack for them, but it's a start. There's no additional money in that, so we don't really need it. Yeah, we need to get down here as soon as possible before they recruit another army. Good, they didn't build any any uh, defenses there, so we should be able to handle that. Once we've once we've taken this out and that, I think disaster's averted. I mean, we could keep going, but I think disaster's averted. Let me just see if these guys might want peace now. No, not yet. What about what about that? Nope, now they definitely won't. Nope. We can beat those lizards. And they're aware of it. Wish that hero was attached to the other army as well, so we could have killed it. That's one hell of a block. Okay, now we can get him. This way, way. Sorry, we don't need him for that battle, and he's not going to be able to make it back in time. It's good to see they're recruiting an army from here. That won't be too hard to beat, but that really shouldn't be a problem for, for him to sort it out, considering how much better the army is now. Like I said, let's just take this, let's secure the province, and then we'll, well, I'll, I'll hand it back to him. Getting some sort of alliance or trade agreement going up with Clan Pestilence is actually quite helpful because you'd eventually want to confederate with him. Hmm. Now obviously we don't want him to take Dawn's life, but since there's a wall there, it wouldn't it wouldn't get taken right away anyway. Unwise. It's got a, it's got a pretty large army, but don't forget, it's got a lot of shit in there as well. Need 
Plus, he, w he doesn't have any... S I don't think he's got any siege attackers. So... Get down over here. Stick together so they get extra experience. This has been easy order resolve. Ooh, not as easy as I thought. Probably should have fought that manually. It's alright. will rise again. So yeah, we sack it first. More quick. It fixes mine. Mine. Good, that makes all of his guys a lot stronger. Victory. You better keep up. Now it's yeah, you want... Ooh, that'd be good in the other army. Stay behind the army there. I say they move. Okay, we're almost at an hour and a half. And like I said, I'm pretty confident that this is, you know, disaster averted. The worst of this is now over. I'll see if I can get a peace treaty with Tor. Need me? I cannot extend a welcome to the likes of If I beat that army, Unwind. they would accept it. So at Scrag Hole. I mean, we'd want to build this, but it's so close to this army here. What's this? Yeah, I guess you could keep that. What about Clan Pestilence? So they're not super happy with us. Bring me tribute, not ever. I wouldn't pay them for a non-aggression pact. I think they're just a waste of money. I could win that siege. Uh, need more trophies, yes, yes. I don't want to. I don't want this battle to take. This camp. Uh, this episode to take too long. I don't know. Wouldn't I? Why don't I leave it to you guys to decide whether or not? We should do a second episode. I might do that, actually. We'll end the turn here. I'm not going to build anything else. See what that did. Maybe they didn't reach. I don't know. So Clan Pestilence just got stronger. It's fine. They're essentially an ally. Alright, so, I'm going to end the episode here, we're right on an hour and a half, and I'll let you guys decide whether or not you think we need to get a second episode down on this. Uh, post comments in the in the comment section below, if you think I do need to, to post another episode, let me know. Um, if you think I don't need to, let me know, and I'll make my judgement based on that. What do you know, this dictatorship's turning into a quasi-fucking republic of uh, democracy. Uh, I get the deciding vote anyway. Anyway, that's the end of this one, so like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time, fuckers. There might be a part two, there might not. We'll see.